All right, everybody, take a good look. Keep looking. Drink it in like a bottle of laudanum. Is there a point to this? There's a point to this. There's a new sheriff in town, guys. It's me. Just for a couple days, we all know how we feel about old Hank. The man loves beans. So I'll be helping out after the accident last night. Don't worry. I'm not gonna go changing too much about the way things work around here. At least, not right away. Maybe after lunch. I would like the opportunity to sit down with each of you, ask a few probing questions, and uh, get to know you a little better. We can do that later, yeah. They're not very helpful, are they? How about I wear the spurs? How about the sheriff wears the spurs? How about you kiss my blacksmith ass? What the hell is going on here? Well, this is called 19 card stud. Regular poker's too complicated. It makes it easy to get pairs. Well, if there's anything with a picture, it's wild. Why are you two out interviewing suspects or feeling the walls, whatever the hell it is you do? At least do something. Man, I tried. I did. These people are kind of mean. It's a tough racket being Sheriff Flessy. Judge, I gotta go gun down that stinky feet fellow in about 20 minutes. Stinky Pete? You wouldn't understand. You've never killed a man. Yes, I have. Yeah, but you've never pretend killed one repeatedly. Struggle with it every time. Two times, huh? Yep. Both times. Well, while well, you two are sitting here playing cowboys and Indians. Uh, uh, just cowboy slashing. Indians is offensive. I didn't say Indians, Guster. That's what I heard. Me too. Would you just shut up? Gus, it's stinky feet. He's trying to bushwhack us! Bushwhack us? Huh? That's not Stinky Pete, he's a tourist! Oh, yeah. I think you're right about that. <laughs> Sorry about that, friend. Man in my line of work can't afford to be too careful. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Well... Hello, Miss Annie. Yeah, hi, Sean. You know, I'd appreciate it if you referred to me as Sheriff Spencer. Or Hickory Pot. Or Dry Gold Slim. Any of those do me just fine. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen. Fair enough. How long have you been doing this? About a decade. Five years here. For that at Disneyland. They have madams at Disneyland? No, I work the teacups. Well, I bet you did. Now, I'm gonna have to ask you a couple, uh uncomfortable type questions about Hank. Oh, you mean that we were lovers? You, no. Not, not that uncomfortable, no. He broke my heart. But that was a long time ago. Ancient history. Hey there! You the one that plays the deputy sheriff, Tripsy, is that right? That's what it says on my paycheck. I still get one. Sounds like you're not too happy with your job right now. Maybe you're angry enough to take it out on your boss, Hank. Maybe you poisoned the water so that you could have old Sonora all to yourself. Maybe even enough to kill for it. I don't know what you're talking about. And as far as Hank goes, I love the man like a brother. <sighs> Please. That's what everyone says. Who's everyone? Miss Annie. No, dude. She doesn't love him like a brother. Definitely not like a brother. Unless they have a really weird family. Got some serious flowers up in that attic. You know what I mean. How would I know that? We must have gone in there. That's completely sealed. There's no way he got through there. Unless he can move through solids, which by definition he can. Really? We have to have that conversation? Fine. Maybe the guy on the horse is not a ghost. And let's say he is the vandal, which doesn't even make sense because the guy who wanted the land is dead. Even so, there's still something we haven't taken into account yet. Yeah, what's that? What if McBain's murder is related to something else or just a random act of violence? I'll go even further. What if the guy on the horse is not vandalizing the town? 
What if no one is? You said it yourself, Sean. What if this place is so run down from neglect and old age that it's falling apart? Huh? I see your point. 